Welcome to my channel. This video is for a mini homecoming mom. Please consider joining my YouTube family by subscribing and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications on my uploads and live streams. I now have memberships available. There are three tiers. Here are the perks and you can look in the description of the video at the very top and you will see a link for that. I'm using 2.75 inch width uh, this is like a poly Florentine ribbon or use an acetate ribbon and I've already pre-cut the lengths. The longest one is 14 inches long and I'm cutting dovetails in the bottom of them. You see the shortest one is, is that 12 inches long and then my backer is 5 inches in diameter. I'm attaching the longest one in the center and I want it to be about, hang off about 12 inches from the mum backer. You can make your peewees or minis as long or as short as you want them. This is the length that I like to go. Um, some people will actually order from me extra long. <coughs> Excuse me. And for the extra long, I add about 5 inches. So I custom, you know, the, the length of the uh, braids and stuff. But... You do whatever works for you, whatever length you prefer. This is not like a standard or anything. This is just something I came up with. So do what you want to do, what length you want to do. If you like this length, if you want it shorter, if you want them longer, do what works for you. So the next two that I'm attaching are the 13 inch length ones. And, you know, I'm always cutting them longer so I have room to attach them to the backer. If I want 12 inches hanging off on the longest one, 12 to 13 inches, then I want to cut at least a li an inch longer, if not two inches longer, just to give myself that, that room on the backer and to trim it off and any mistakes. So the next two are going to be the 12 inch length. So I like tapering these. Sometimes I will do them um, almost the same length across, but the tapering and getting them shorter. I just love the looks of that. So you probably know that from watching my videos. Of course you can do them however you want to do them as well. Now I'm going to add some 1.3 inch width acetate or polyfluorentine, whichever you have. And I'm just layering this. I'm going to make them a little bit shorter than those two outer pieces. So I'm not really measuring them, I'm just holding them up to see where I want to cut them. And again, I'll cut dovetails on the bottom. Now if you have a really dark color underneath, you might want to double up the white ribbon just so it looks really crisp and white. So I'm just layering those just so, so you, you can see the pretty blue underneath where it looks like they're cut the same. And I just love that contrast with the white on top of the, the blue there. And I'm going to attach my braids as well. So I have this loop chain. This is a regular loop chain. And it's got two ribbons. So two ribbons layered, the blue and white ribbons. And I will do a separate video for that, a quick video for that. So I changed my mind. I had it in the center, but I decided I wanted two chains. So I moved it over to the right and I made this double heart chain which I have already uploaded a video for this I believe a week or two ago um, so I attached that one on the left side and now I'm going to bling it up a little bit as a good way to cover up staples and just to add some more bling to it I am using is diamond mesh ribbon or also known as diamond wrap and you can cut it to size so whatever size you need it to be whatever width or length you need it to be you can do it in singles or two rows three rows four rows um, you can get this at the Dollar Tree you can get this at craft stores they have different you know some of them are bigger than the others so 
it's a really great way to add bling and then I love that you can cut it to size and use it in different ways on braids. So I'm also attaching some to this loop chain to bling it up as well, but I just wanted to do a single row to leave room to put uh, stickers on the loops for the name. So I'm not taking away from that, I'm just adding this off to the side to bling it up. You don't have to glue the entire thing. I usually just glue the top few and then the bottom few as well and make sure you pull it snug so it stays in place. If you want to glue the whole thing, you can, but I found that it sometimes it uh, makes it look awkward. So I just like to glue the top and the bottom of it, but make sure you're gluing it well so it doesn't fall off. And here's what it looks like. It's so cute, so pretty that just adding that little bit of bling Next I'm going to attach the mum backer, the head mum backer, and I just move it around to see where I want it and then I add a couple of staples to the very top just to hold it in place and it won't slide around. If you only do one staple it can still slide around so I suggest two at the top and if you're not ready to glue it down yet you can still add things glue or staple things like braids and chains and trinkets and stuff and such uh, if you just have it stapled at the top because you can still open it up the back two backers up and still staple in there which is what I'm going to do here so just this is just a real thin soft satin ribbon and a disco ball or a mirror, mirrored ball and here again see I'm opening it up and stapling it in so I like to make sure that I don't need to glue or staple anything else to it before I attach the two backers together and I put a pair of scissors in there just to keep it kind of open because I glued over those staples to make sure that thin uh, ribbon wouldn't fall out of the staple. Those can be difficult to staple. So this trinket I just glued onto a small piece of glitter ribbon and then stapling that on there. And here's a little star. These are little wooden stars that are painted metallic silver. I get those at Hobby Lobby uh, during Christmas time. They come in a big package, kind of in the craft, crafting part of Christmas stuff. They're inexpensive and they're a cute little way to add, you know, a, a trinket to these smaller mums. And you can put like a paw print sticker or, or any kind of like a vinyl or anything or a piece of, you know, a little rhinestone or something on them too to kind of upgrade them. And I also take fingernail polish and paint them different colors. So if I need a purple one, I'll paint it with purple fingernail polish and, and then go over it with glitter. Or you could just go over it simply with, you know, silver glitter just to glitter it up. So they are very inexpensive and they're easy to paint if you want to do that. They do have a, a self-adhesive little uh, thing on the back, um, foam piece on the back, but I always hot glue because I don't trust that. So now I'm going to attach my ribbon uh, necklace and I'm using two pieces of soft satin ribbon cut at 24 inches in length so you want to have plenty of length for them to tie a bow and I like to attach these at an angle because that's more natural going around the neck and then I'm also doing a small piece in the center for a pin on because this is going to be a pre-made mum on my Etsy shop so it's not being made for anyone in particular, so I want to give them two options for whoever buys it. And if you don't know, if, if you don't know what the girl's going to want, you know, you can go ahead and do both just to be safe so she has different options. And I'm going to, after gluing those, I staple them as well. I want to make sure those ribbons do not come off. And I got so busy talking about those little stars, I forgot to say what I was doing. Um, I, you know, I glued the two backers together, and then I go around with the stapler and staple as much all the way around those backers as I can. Now I'm going to add my flower, which I've already prepared the uh, Chanel stem in it, and I have shown that. If you don't know how to do that, I showed that in several videos, and I even have a video for just how to secure the Chanel stem into the flower if you need that. So um, what I'm doing is 
I'm using ribbon spool ends, but they have a bigger hole than a backer. So what I do is I put some hot glue in there and then I hold the flower perfectly in the center and let that hot glue dry before stapling the Chanel stem down. Because if I pull on that Chanel stem over to one side before doing that, the whole flower will move over to that side of the backer and it will be off centered. So that's why I have that extra step. If you're just using regular backers or you're making your own and they only have a little hole, you won't have to worry about that step. And now I have to put a piece of uh, white ribbon over that center hole to cover that up, unless I'm using a solid backer on the back, but I'm not. I have some of these ribbon spools that are perfectly white on, the, on one side and so I can use those at the very bottom. So I do have to cut some of my own, but some of them I can use like that. Now I'm just gluing the flower down and covering up all that mess under there. That it will help secure your flower as well, but it also covers up all those staples and stuff you don't want people to see. So I did do a little bit more decorating. I added this little silver, I'm sorry, glitter star that I got from Dollar Tree. I made a bow out of sheer ribbon and put on the month flower. I added a little bow and bell with the disco ball, but I didn't want to add too much. I wanted to leave room for uh, whoever buys it to personalize it, or if they want me to personalize it, I wanted to leave that space. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share, comment, like. Please be kind with your comments. Please be kind to others, and happy mum making, everyone.